She wasn't exactly a clam when she saw our mothers at Drucker's store. I understand the reason she spoke up was that you gave your mothers the impression that I was going to the party. Well, we thought you were. Your mother's such a good sport. Huh. Well, she is a good sport. Then why aren't you going to the all-night party? Well, golly, I... Well, look, Wash, what happens to me affect you? Because in our mother's words, Kate Bradley is a sensible person. She's raised a lovely family, and we will abide by what she decides. Well, I must say that's a nice compliment to my mother. Oh, a, a terrific compliment. But it still doesn't get us to the all-night party. Do you realize we're in college? And that kid stuff about having our dates drop us off at the end of the dance at the station so we can catch the cannonball home. Yeah, that cannonball sits there like a great big old iron babysitter. Oh, really? Well, Charlie are babysitting the babysitter. Two dozen times I've had my date say goodnight to me at the cannonball. And the best I ever got out of it was a handshake. <laughs> you know something? I'm going to that all-night party no matter what anybody says. Okay, it's a deal. If you'll go, I'll go. Hey, how about you, Bobby Joe? Why don't you join us? Well, come on, Bobby Joe. You don't want to end up as the only Squaresville in Hooterville, do you? Think it over. We'll have a ball. <laughs> That girl singer was great, wasn't she? That was a boy. <laughs> anyway, the fellow slapping the bass had a groovy beat. That was a girl. <laughs> well, anyway, they were a good group. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. We're all going over to Bob's and that is a country club. Well, you two want to ride with us? Uh, Bobby Joe? Fine with me. Good. Uh, Bobby Joe, uh, if they make us chip in on gas, uh, let me get it. <laughs> You might as well stoke her up. We ain't doing anybody any good around here. It's going to be a sad night at the Shady Rest. Hey, that could be Bobby Joe now. Oh, let's get outside. Let's get outside. Let's get outside. Let's get outside. Oh, let me in. Let me get away. Here we are. Golly, Bobby Joe, I wish you wouldn't cut out on us. Yeah, I thought it was all settled that you were going with us to the country club. I thought so, too, but at the last minute I changed my mind. But why? Because, well, maybe it's corny, but defying Mom takes all the fun out of it. Yeah, maybe that's what's the matter with me. I thought it was going to be a real swinging night. I think I'll go back on the cannonball, too. Well, if you guys are going, I guess I'll go. Man, I never saw a party go down the drain so fast in my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, fella. Yeah. I hope I didn't ruin the whole evening for you, Scott. Oh, no, I had a good time. A real good time. I'm glad. You know something? What? You're awful pretty. <laughs> Sure isn't like going out to the country club. Yeah, I think we've been railroaded. Hi, kids. Welcome to the all-night special. Let her go, Uncle Joe. What's that? Hey, come on. Well, uh, how about 
wonderful, terrific, sensational. Go ahead, pick one. Come on in, kids. Now, there's dining and dancing and boat cars and no wait. <laughs> and I want one thing understood. This party is to last till dawn. And then we're going to have a great big breakfast at the Shady Rest. Hey! hey, hey. Tomorrow's okay by me. Mm, dusty old hat, some shabby old clothes, catfish whiskers, just the tickling my toes. I should be working today, but tomorrow's okay by me. The world would stop turning if I wasn't on the job at night. But now I see the world can get along without me just fine. I gotta bite on my line. Lazy old sun, friendly old sky. Too nice a day for a shirt. Be working today, but tomorrow's okay by me. Lazy old sun, friendly old sky. It's too nice a day for a shirt and a tie. I should be working today, but tomorrow's okay. Stay tuned for Green Acres. Next on Nick at Night Steve.